Oh, hello there. I'm Courtesy. And it's Christmas time again. And one of my favorite traditions around the holiday season are cards. Because sending cards is a great way to show somebody that you care or that they've had a positive impact in your life. And this year, I'm keeping the tradition going. I have created courtesy cards for Christmas. And I'll be sharing them with you tonight. Now, I wrote these courtesy Christmas cards to Christmas traditions, whether it be something that everybody does, or songs, movies, whatever it is. I wrote Christmas cards to traditions. Here's the first courtesy card. Do they know it's Christmas? What an important song you are to me. You helped remind me that racism didn't end after the 60s like many try to claim. It just took on other forms, like this. White pity and performative wokeness. Like if one part of the movie Get Out was a Christmas song. You also helped me embrace my privilege and learn how to truly pity. And one of the biggest takeaways from this song is that Africa is just one giant country with terrible problems and not a collection of individual countries with different problems and that there's no potentially good places in Africa. Thank you for teaching me that and for teaching me that not celebrating Christmas is a humanitarian crisis and that a lack of snow is one of the worst things a country can endure or continent apparently. Do they know it's Christmas? Here's your courtesy card. Last Christmas by Wham. You are another song that has taught me so many things. For one thing, you don't need an actual rhyme scheme to have a popular Christmas song. The chorus's rhyme scheme is a mess, but you still endure. Good for you. But mostly you taught me that the best way to have a Christmas classic is to give awful relationship advice. Doing the exact same thing that got your heart broken the year prior really speaks to a lot of foolish people out there. Or perhaps your existence explains why these people are foolish. Because of songs like these influencing them. And it feels great to have that explanation. Last Christmas, here's your courtesy card. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. I am so thankful that you exist. What a song you are. Because without you, I would have never have learned that conservative country fans have a terrible sense of humor. Listening to the demographic that loves to hammer home the respect your elders mindset, laugh about the violent death of a beloved family member on what is supposed to be the greatest night of the year is always such a unique experience. But I'd have to say that the best thing you did for me was help me to not be surprised when conservatives refused to wear masks or follow COVID-19 preventative guidelines. Because thanks to this song, I knew that to them, old people dying is hilarious. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Here's your courtesy card. Hmm. Bing Crosby. I will actually not be bringing up your awful parenting in this card, besides those last few words. I actually want to share my gratitude that you popularized the term White Christmas, effectively making sure that it's not a racist term. You claimed it before the racist could, so now it will always mean a snowy Christmas and nothing else. Hopefully. Either way, I'll do my best to make sure that it stays a positive term. They may have claimed the Pepe the Frog meme and the OK hand gesture and Stacy Dash, but thanks to you, they will likely never claim White Christmas. The racists will never have you. Bing Crosby, here's your courtesy card. I made sure it's nice and light so you can't discipline your children with it. The Mistletoe. I don't know when you became a tradition or why, but I'm glad that you persist. Because with, with you, we can determine which relatives we need to keep away from us. And we can have a nice festive reminder that the Me Too movement is a good idea. May you continue to hang high so that actual couples have a cute reason to kiss. 
and so that we have a way to find out who to remove from our lives when they try to use you as an excuse to force their lips upon others. Mistletoe, here's your courtesy card. The Polar Express Movie. You are such a great movie for about 30 minutes. You could have taken the sometimes wondrous, sometimes creepy animation technology and made the greatest Christmas special ever. But no, not you. Your ambitions were bigger. You managed to stretch a 32-page book into a 100-minute movie filled with tracking shots, glacial pacing, and a whole lot of nothing. But with just enough wonderful moments that it makes you want to consider watching it every year. Besides, when else are you going to watch a Christmas movie where Tom Hanks, the son of Tom Hanks, tells a story about boarding a train with Tom Hanks, getting saved by Tom Hanks, who's a ghost the whole time, and traveling to the North Pole to meet Tom Hanks? Overall, I really want to thank you for proving that anything can be made into a classic movie if you stuff it with enough filler, and for not making a needlessly stretched out movie as bad as The Cat in the Hat. And for having a fire soundtrack. It slaps all season. The Polar Express movie, here's your courtesy card. Oh, this is fun, isn't it? Jingle all the way. Where do I even begin? I truly didn't think it was possible to cram so much chaos, noise, mean-spirited humor, and inhumanity into one family Christmas movie. But you proved it is possible. You proved anything is possible. You taught me all about the horrors of Christmas, the horrors of Arnold Schwarzenegger as an actor, the horrors of 90 special effects on a budget, and the horrors of a time when Sinbad was popular. I loved him in Good Burger, but we all know he had his limits. The fact that I was able to sit through this entire idiotic, harsh movie proved that I have so much more endurance and patience than I ever thought I could. Thank you for teaching me this for giving me this confidence, for teaching me that I'm strong. And thank you for every other lesson you taught me that I've already mentioned. But mostly, thank you for teaching me that The Phantom Menace is not Jake Lloyd's worst movie. Jingle all the way, here's your courtesy card. And finally, Christmas with the Cranks. Wow, you are quite a film. You've shown the whole world what can be done when you completely remove nuance, plausibility, and individuality from a movie. Having the ultimate heroes of the movie be the people who harass and threaten a couple until they celebrate Christmas their way is such an interesting movie. We're all about inclusion now, so I guess it's nice that the people who believe in a war on Christmas have their own movie too, besides saving Christmas. I really want to thank you for not being released in 2008, or now, because a movie about shaming an average couple for trying to save money during the holidays would be much more insensitive. I want to thank you for making me debate every year whether you or Jingle All The Way is the worst popular Christmas movie ever. Saving Christmas wasn't very popular, so it doesn't count. And most of all, I want to thank you for providing me with a valuable lesson. When the Nazis return? just conform. And sure enough, 10 years later, after you were released, they did. And thanks to you, we all had a playbook. Christmas with the Cranks, here's your courtesy card. Well, those are my Christmas cards, my courtesy Christmas cards. I hope you all enjoyed watching this and that it brought you some great sarcastic Christmas cheer. Thank you.